read the rules and provide basic numeral for each of the following. So what they are simply asking you to do is to add or subtract these two numbers, whatever is required, going by these two rules that are written here. So this is rule number one and this is rule number two on this side. Okay, so this is rule number one and this is rule number two. And each rule has two steps. Step one, step two, step one, step two. So rule number one, two similar signs. So two numbers with similar signs always add two positive numbers, always add two negative numbers, always add. And step number two, answer has to have the same sign, whatever the sign initially was. So what it means that we know that two plus two, two positive numbers, we have to add them. Two plus two is equal to four. And answer has to have the same sign that is carried by both the numbers. So two positive number answer has to be positive. So two plus two is four or positive four. Negative two minus two. Two similar signs always add. So two plus two is equal to four. Step number two answer has to have the same sign. So both are negative numbers. So this has to be negative four. So let's see what it means uh, using the number line. So number line here. So we have a number line. Zero is right in the middle and this is negative direction and this is positive direction. So what it means that we have to go two in negative direction starting from zero. So two steps in negative direction. So this is one and two. And you can see that we are standing at negative two. And we have to go further two in negative direction. So further two steps. So one and two. And you can see we are at negative four. That's where we are. And that's what it means. So two opposite signs. This one, for example, negative three plus seven. So two opposite signs always subtract. So seven minus three is equal to four. And step number two, answer has to have the sign of the bigger digit. So this is the bigger digit. So answer has to be positive. So let's use number line for this one. So we have to go three in negative direction, three steps in negative direction. So starting from zero, one, two, and three. And then seven in positive direction, in this direction. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And you can see that we're standing here, positive four. That's where we are. Okay, so that makes uh, our life very easy. Two plus two is equal to four. Negative two minus two is equal to negative four. Two similar signs. Negative five minus three. Five plus three is eight. We have to add these numbers. So eight and answer has to carry the negative sign. So this is negative eight. So negative three plus seven two opposite signs. You have to subtract seven minus three is equal to four and answer has to carry the sign of the bigger digit. So this is positive four. Now this one is an interesting one. So negative two plus two. Okay. So two opposite signs. So we have to subtract two minus two is zero. So step number two, what about step number two? answer has to have the sign of the bigger digit. So none of these two digits is bigger than the other. So answer cannot be positive. It cannot be negative and cannot be positive. What means that if you can see here, zero is right in the middle of two different domains, positive and negative. So zero can never be positive, can never be negative. Okay, so zero is just zero. It's right in the middle. Negative two plus two, negative two plus two is zero. So negative four plus 16, two opposite signs, we have to subtract. So 16 minus four is 12 and will carry the positive sign because that's the bigger number here. So negative 30, negative 30 plus six, we have to subtract. Two opposite signs, we have to subtract. So 30 minus six is 24. And the, this is the bigger digit, so this is negative 24. So this one, is negative 24. Negative 9 plus 6, we have to subtract. 9 minus 6 is 3. And this is the bigger digit, so answer it should be negative 3. This should be negative 3. So this one is negative 3. So two 
minus 12, positive 2 minus 12. So 2 minus 12, two opposite signs. We have to subtract. This is this one. So 12 minus 2 is equal to 10 and this is the bigger digit. So this is negative 10. So 2 minus 12 is negative 10. 7 minus 9, 7 minus 9, 7 minus 9. So two opposite signs. We have to subtract 7 minus 9 is 9 minus 7 is 2 and this should be negative 2 negative 2 negative 8 minus 6 so two similar signs so negative 8 minus 6 we have to add them 8 plus 6 is 14 and answer has to have the same sign so this is negative 14 negative 14 9 plus 6 both are similar signs okay both are positive numbers so 9 plus 6 is 15 and this is positive 15. I hope that helps you. Thank you very much.